Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple uh, clothing glitches. So the joggers and the spot outfit is kind of going to go together. But all you want to do is go to your MOC and start up the job work dispute. Or go to quick play and go to MOC jobs and just hope you get it. Or use a friend and have a friend host it for you. Either way, you just need to start this job. And you'll either get one of the two options, either red joggers or black joggers. And then continue on with the rest of this to save it. But for the SWAT outfit, you're going to want to make sure you get the black joggers with the black shirt and the black tactical vest. And once you have that, you can save that as a SWAT outfit if that's what you want. And I'm just calling it a SWAT outfit for the purpose of this video because that's what I made it into. But all you want to do from here is fly to your nearest apartment where you can change clothing. Once you do finally get over to one of your apartment buildings, if you go to the blue circle, you'll notice it'll say you can't actually go inside. So all you're going to do is find a way to kill yourself, doesn't matter which way, as long as you kill your character. And then from there, just run back over to your apartment building or CEO building, whichever building you decide to use for this glitch. Now, as you get back over, you'll see you'll actually be able to go inside. And then once inside, you just want to wait for it to load, and then just run over and go down to your wardrobe and save the clothing under whatever you want to call it. During this though, you just have to make sure you don't run out of team lives, or no one leaves, as it'll kick everyone out, and you'll have to restart from the beginning again. Also, quick thing to note, if you go and do the first section, you'll get an automatic wanted level, and you'll have to wait till you have to return the bikes, and then from there, just get near that area, and then leave, and then continue on from here. Okay, and then once we get the outfit saved, just back out of the lobby, and then this is back in a free roam session. So with the black shirt and the black joggers, with the vest, all you're going to do is put on a black ski mask, and then go out to helmets, and you're going to want to put on one of the LSPD riot helmets. And you're also going to put on some black gloves. The gloves are optional, it's up to you. And also, if you just want to save the joggers, you can just save your outfit, and then you can change the shirt and everything else. But just with this outfit, you can't change the shirt or the pants as you lose the vest. And now, this is basically the outfit. If you want to add goggles to it, though, this is another little glitch. Run over to your telescope, hit right on the D-pad as you're sprinting. You'll notice you'll just be stuck here, and it'll give you the prompt to access it again. Just go, put your goggles on, and then from there, just walk away, and you'll notice everything else will come back, and you have the goggles, and then you can save this as your SWAT outfit. This is just an alternative outfit to the first spot outfit we did, if you guys want to go through with that. So just go with the mid strike vest, and if you want to go ahead and put a crew emblem on the back, it's totally up to you guys. But yeah, utility vest, mid strike, and then you want to go to utility tops, black battle pit vest, and then you want to back out and go to pants, and go to utility, and there'll be the black battle pants. And again, you can go with the same helmet glitch that we did earlier, and gloves if you feel like having them. Now for the final clothing glitch, it's going to be to get a duffel bag. So you just want to go over to your terabyte or a friend's terabyte and then just do the client job for the bank robbery in progress. So if you're doing this with a friend, only one person can do it at a time. If you're doing it on your own, great. You can just go ahead and do it. You don't have to wait for anybody. But all you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the bank that's being robbed, kill everybody, take the duffel bag, and then when you get to your drop off area, you just want to parachute and land in that little yellow circle with your parachute. And then once you go ahead and complete that job, you're going to want to head over to your nearest ammunition, go over to parachutes, go to the parachute bag, and you want to go all the way down to the Israeli bag, and you want to go ahead and buy that. And then once you have that, you want to make sure you equip it. So let's open up your interaction menu, go to styles, go to parachutes, and then just make sure you have your parachute equipped, and it's the Israeli bag as well. And then once you got all that set up, just go ahead, get into an aerial vehicle, or for me I use an oppressor, whatever works easier for you guys. And then all you want to do is go ahead and bail out, pull your parachute, and then land anywhere on the ground, and you'll notice that you spawn with a duffel bag on your back. If that happens, you're doing it all correct. If it doesn't happen, you're going to have to restart from the beginning. 
So all you have to do now is go ahead and jump out again, pull your parachute at the mask store, hit right on the d-pad, and before you take your parachute off, and then just save this outfit as something random. And then from there, you know, so you won't have the duffel bag on your back, just back out, pick up your action menu, go to styles, and select the outfit you just saved, and you'll have the duffel bag on your back. And the duffel bag is really glitchy, the only way to switch your outfits from here is to parachute again, and then switch outfits while you're parachuting. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next one.